Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Shane, and if you remember, not too long ago, I reviewed a spin care system. It was kind of like in my, I think I did an updated nighttime routine using it. I love this product. I still love the products in the video. Oh no, actually, I reviewed it. I took pictures of it on my vacation, that's why I'm thinking. But I think it was like the end of 2018, right into 2019, I was sent that product to review. I still love it, I use it all the time to clean my face. I actually found replacement heads on their website too, which was so cool, so that's still a staple in my skincare routine. So when they reached out to me to do another collaboration, yeah, I, jumped all over the opportunity. So I browsed their website and I came across this Rendezvous Professional Styling Iron. Now I thought this was perfect because guys, this isn't supposed to be like, moms, I know all the secrets at all, but you, ugh, it, it, we're so busy y'all. Like I used to curl my hair all the time. Like that's all I did. I think toward the end of 2018 was I just had big, voluminous, lumptious waves with my Bellamy extensions. And I still love that look. But it took so much work, like it put, oh my god, it took so much work. I had to curl my entire head, pin my entire head, do my makeup, then go back, take out all the pins, then fluff it up and tease it and spray it, and oh my god. It took me about an hour and a half probably just to do my hair alone. So as beautiful as curling my hair was, it wasn't ideal for a busy mom situation. So I've kind of resorted back to straightening my hair. Recently, I have, I had bought in a wig and you guys probably have noticed I've been like back and forth wearing the wig, not wearing the wig, like one video I'm wearing a wig, one video I'm not wearing a wig. And to be honest, I ended up not liking the wig as a everyday wear. Um, I was too self-conscious about it not looking natural enough. So I ended up just kind of keeping it more so if I just want to change my looks on videos because I didn't feel like it looked too bad in the videos, but I was too uncomfortable with it in public. So I ended up just resorting back to my extensions and that's okay because I did kind of spend a lot of money on this wig, but it's not like I'm just throwing it away. I'm still definitely going to use it. Um, and I got some really good professional hair care advice while I was there. So it wasn't a complete loss, but I've kind of just resorted back to straightening my hair all the time. With that being said, today I want to test out this straightening iron. As always, with any collaboration I do on this channel, 100% of the opinions are my own. I am going to tell you some cool features about this product, more so when we actually get into the tutorial and kind of like my updated routine of how I put in my clip and extensions. Um, but I wouldn't be reviewing this product or I wouldn't be, I'm going to tell you how it is. I'm going to tell you everything. I'm going to be as transparent in this video and with all other future collaborations as well. That's how it goes on my channel. I'm not going to promote something I don't like. So with that said, let's jump right into the video. So I want to dive into the box first. I thought it was upside down. Um, the box feels pretty good. This got to me really, really fast. Um, I believe, oh yeah, it is magnetic. It says Duval here. So you open it up and you have the iron right there in the packaging. It is wrapped in plastic. So if we take this out, it comes with an instruction manual, which I'm sure we can figure out, but if you want, there, that, there it is. And then it comes with, oh, oh wow. I haven't had one of these in a while, but it does come with a um, heat safe glove, which I find more if I'm curling, um, but at the same time, you can curl with a curling iron. So, useful, I don't know, I'll put it in my, um, I have like a little area where all my heat styling products go, so I'll put that in there. I was so excited to do this collaboration because the flat iron that I'm using now is the Chi Air, and I love Chi, I've been using them forever, um, but, <laughs> but I've dropped it one too many times and it's just like, it's about to go, so I'm so grateful I got this opportunity just in time. I believe, um, let me see on the box if it has any specific information about this, I believe the plates are tied Titanium, yes, professional titanium plates. We have rounded plate edges for more styling options, which I do see that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I've never had a flat iron that had that where like the bar, the plate kind of comes around. So that'll heat up too. Oh, I could definitely see why we would need that glove. 
So he says you can straighten it, big and wavy style, tail curve C style, and a flip out style all with this. And I think I'm gonna test that today. I think I'm gonna do a couple different um, tests today because I used to flip out my ends even when wearing my extensions and I loved that look, but, but my straightener wasn't made for it. So like make my ends look really odd. I really love that feature about this. Um, the cord does swivel, which is so minuscule. It's such a minuscule detail, but it makes all the difference in the world. If you, if you have used heat products, you probably know what I'm talking about. So the inside right here, let me show you as best as I can but it has the power button and then it does have heat settings. So it goes from 250 all the way to 450. And I apologize, we're still friggin' filming on my phone. Um, but yeah, so it does have different options. So if you don't want to be as crazy, you can go down. I'm probably gonna honestly keep it between, between 360 and 410, probably not 450. I feel like that's even for me. My hair is just very, 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 very thick and very coarse. Um, so let's go ahead, get this bad boy plugged in. I do have my extensions as well um, off to the side that I'm going to have to straighten. I want to see how quickly this heats up and how it's going to indicate that it's heated up. And what I mean by that is that my current straightener, when it's heating up, it, uh, the power button will like blink, like flashes red. And then once it stops blinking, then it's, it's heated up to the correct temperature. So I am curious about that. So let me get those out of the way. I have my handy dandy extension cord. So we are just gonna go ahead, hit that power button. Like so, ooh, okay. So do I have to? How do I? That's a great question. How do, do I have to hit the power button to make it? Oh, okay. You see the light moving up the temperature? Okay. And then it's off. So you power it on, you go to your temperature. When you're done, you power it off. One other thing I am curious about, and I'm probably just going to read it because I don't really want to test it because it's kind of dangerous. Oh, love that. Real quick. These have little bumpers. So I put it down and it's like not touching the surface. I, this is like revolutionary. Maybe I just haven't bought a straightener in a real long time, but this is really cool. Here, let me see any other, any, anything else I can tell you before we dive into this. I'm just seeing if it says anything about if you left this iron on, if it automatically turns off. It's like a safety feature. I'm assuming it does, cause most, I think most heat styling have that, but you never know, so I just, I wanna make sure. All right, so I just turned it back on and I'm going to just put it up to, we're gonna do it at 410. If I feel like that's too high, um, I am going to lower that. But there is no like blinking light, so there's no indication that it's heating up. I obviously know it's heating up because I know it's on, but when it would be ready, I'm not quite sure. Um, I'm just seeing if I can feel any heat starting to radiate. Oh, whoa. I already feel heat. Wow, okay. Um, let's go ahead and kind of prepare my hair. So I don't wash my hair. I wash my hair every four to five days. I don't find that I need to unless I was doing, like I got like did a lot of outdoor chores or something or just my hair is like has a lot of hairspray in it. Um, but usually nine times out of 10, I'm working with dirty hair, like one or two day old hair so that's what i have i woke up at 6 45 got my daughter got my daughter ready in 20 minutes didn't get myself ready threw us in the car drove an hour to my babysitters drove an hour home went to a post office <laughs> and i just finally came home to sit down and film this review so i'm telling you when i say i want to get ready like I need to get ready. Um, I just knew that I wanted to film the video a little bit later because I wanted time to sit down with you guys, but nine to, most of the time, I just really need to get out of here. Usually, I would straighten my extensions before I even start on my real hair, but for the sake of this video, we are just going to start on my natural hair and then I will uh, straighten my extensions off camera. I just wanted my very first impression to actually be on camera, so I have a little mirror off to the side here. So the first thing that I do, I need a little clip and I want to hide. So if my hair is down, 
my natural hair is, you know, obviously a little bit shorter than my extensions. My extensions make my hair come down probably another like four or five inches or so. Um, so when my hair is down, some of these shorter front sections will show and it just kind of looks like my hair is bluntly cut off. Like it doesn't really blend into the extensions very well. So I kind of just came up with a technique that I've been using that works for me. So what I do, you can actually get these at Walmart for a dollar. I think you get, how many, 300 of them for a dollar. And there are these little tiny rubber band elastics. I love these. You can definitely get the clear ones as well, but the black ones work for me. If you're a blonde, maybe you wanna use the clear ones. But what I do is I want to basically tie back that hair that's gonna kinda peek out in front. So I've learned just from trial and error, so just take this from me, that if I take, starting above my temple and kinda angling downwards, I'm going to collect the hair around the nape of my neck. So all of this hair, and I just kinda, I can't really show you the back of my hair, and I apologize for that. But I just kinda went down in almost like a smiling formation, like I just went like that, um, just gathering that very, very, very bottom hair because this right here, my dear, is the hair that shows with my extensions. So just imagine this and then long hair and that's my problem. So I found that taking this section of hair, I'm making this section just a little bit thicker. I found that taking this section of hair um, really, really, really helps with that problem. And I found that taking more, a little higher up, on the sides of your hair, not really on the back, but just the sides of your hair really can help as well. So I'm just taking my nail and just, just taking a little bit more down from the sides. At this point, I'm gonna take the top half of my hair and just clip it out of my way for a moment. And before I clip this hair back, I am actually going to straighten it as well. So Here's where this guy comes in. So I can definitely feel heat off of it. It's not like crazy heat, but we definitely feel something. So I am just going to start, and I like just to work in little sections. Even if I was straightening my hair, this is basically how I would do it. It's just split it into small sections and straighten each one as I go. So I like to just, this is how I like to straighten my hair. I'm just gonna go over the root once or twice and then just drag it, not too slowly, but you know, I'm taking my time for a minute just going down the rest of my hair because I find that if anything is gonna curl first, it's gonna be my roots. So there we are, wow, that, here was the before and there's the after in one little, all right, let's do that again. So I'm taking another section of hair, just making sure that's brushed out, taking my straightener, one, two, three, over the root, down. And I'm not like squeezing the heck out of my hair. Um, I'm actually squeezing quite lightly. I'm just going to let it fall. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Um, so I am going to uh, keep doing my hair real quick. I am going to just kind of do a time lapse. And once I have this sec bottom section of hair um, done, I will show you how I tie back my hair and then we will continue. Oh, well, actually, that wasn't that bad. I grabbed kind of a thicker section there just to see how it works on thicker sections if it misses a lot of hair. And it's actually pretty good. I missed like the very back end of that section because I don't think. Like I had, I just had enough room in the straightener for all of it, but this is like, this is crazy. I'm sorry, this is crazy. <laughs> up that last little section there. I do just want to take a little piece of hair and see what else we can do with the straightener real quick. So here is the hair and I am going to try a couple different things. I'm going to kind of keep it away from my root. So I am going to first start by curling it. So what side? Let's see. I'm going to flip it like this. Drag it down. Let's see how well I missed the end there, definitely. And I'm just trying not to fry my hair by going over it a thousand times, but 
that was a decent curl and it was smooth because the way I flipped it had the care that had the hair lying over one of the plates that like go over the hair straightener so let us just take this piece of hair and see if we can quickly not only straighten it but this time we're gonna do oh you know what this time we're gonna do a little flip so I'm gonna make sure that out what way I want to hold the straightener. Yeah, I'm going to flip it at the end this time. Oh, okay. That was a little bit of a fail. Let me see. Kind of trying to figure out which way to hold the, the straightener too. Let me see. If I'm going down this way and I want to flip it inwards, I need a plate on that side, right? So I need it like this. So if I'm flip, nope. So if I'm flipping inwards, Okay, the, the flipping is a little bit wonky, but I feel like it's also trial and error, and I'm also afraid of, yeah, it's just a little bit of trial and error. I'm just afraid of frying this little piece of hair off, so I'm just gonna straighten it, leave it alone for the rest of the month. So once I have, oh, look at that. Why is there a man at my door? Or at my window? That scared me. I have a little window over there and like I just see a man in it. Okay, um, the, the little power button is flashing and you can't really see it, but it is. Um, I don't know if that means it's still heating up. That'd be crazy. I'll let you know what that flash does in just a second. Um, but once I have the bottom layer done, I'm gonna take my little elastic and then I'm gonna take these little pieces in front of my ears and I'm not gonna tie those back. A, it's really uncomfortable, and B, it, it looks a little more natural if you leave them out. So I'm gonna look like an elf for a second, and I'm gonna take out these. But I'm just going to take the rest of my hair, take my little elastic, and I'm gonna tie it, and I'm gonna tie it pretty tight at the uh, nape of my neck. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead, cut away real quick, straighten my extensions, so that way we're ready to do my hair because I actually add my extensions as we go. Um, so let me do that real quick and we'll be back to finish up my hair. All right, my extensions are all uh, straightened and ready to go. So I'm gonna show you again what how I put them in. Um, this is just kind of a updated routine. The extensions that I use are from Bellamy and they are the Magnifica. I'll link them below if you wanna check out the ones that I use. So the first thing I'm gonna do, uh, it comes with three of these little two clips. So I'm gonna start with these and I'm gonna clip this first one right above that little ponytail. So I'm just putting the clips, finding a good secure spot. There is another one. So I'm gonna take this second one, I'm gonna put it a little more off to the side clip it in and then here is our third two clip one and now I'm gonna clip this one closer to this side that is the first uh, three pieces and now I'm going to take out my hair again section my hair off right above the extension so I'm pulling out a little bit more hair I'm not making the sections super thin either but they're probably like one inch sections all the way around so once again we're gonna clip this up out of the way and just a little update that little blinking light the power light has not stopped blinking so I think it's just an indicator that this is on and it's and it's hot so to not grab it but um, now I'm gonna go ahead again and we need to straighten because this section is my natural hair so again I'm gonna go over the roots a couple times and then drag it through so I've been straightening for now a few minutes off camera because I had all of that hair that I just showed you to straighten. And I really love this product. Um, I wouldn't tell you that if I didn't. It's very smooth. Um, I don't feel like it's ripping and gripping and pulling my hair. Um, I, I feel like if I do larger sections, like even this one might be a little too large, sometimes I'll get like a little piece of hair caught and it might pull it, but it straightens it the first go. And I love that, I don't have to like, go over and go over and go over my hair. I'm already damaging my hair by just simply putting heat on it, 
the less I can pull and break it off, uh, the better. So this is really, really lovely. And like I said, it doesn't take a lot of pressure. All right, now that we have this section done, you can see that it has, you know, the smoke that is normal. Next, I like to take one of these long, these are the longest tracks that Bellamy has in their set. So I'm gonna take one of these long four clips and I'm gonna center it on the back of my head. Again, kind of just wiggling that clip into my hair. I, you can even like lift some hair up if you really want to and stick the clip in that way so that way you know for sure it's grabbing hair. So we have um, two, four, so we have six extensions left which is gonna give me eight, I'm gonna be able to do two, two, and two. So I have about three sections left. So keeping that in mind, I'm going to section my next one right below my temples. I'm still working with the larger clips, so another four clip. And this time I'm going to clip it to the side of my hair first, but I'm not gonna clip it right to my hairline. I'm gonna start a little bit back. And that goes for all my extensions. None of them are gonna go that close to my hairline. So again, just kind of following the path where I split my hair, we're clipping that in. This should be my last four clip extension. So the last two sections are gonna be done pretty much like the other two. Just, I'm gonna introduce a little bit of teasing into these top two sections. This is what is just gonna give me more volume and help my hair not be super flat, even though it's straightened. Um, I still like volume. I don't like super, super, super flat hair. And it might look great on you. For me, for some reason, I just look super strange with really, really flat hair, in my opinion. So um, we're just finishing up. Let me get this straightened real quick. Oh, this is really hot. I got my scalp on that one. I went a little, I think the little, um, plate that like is on the side of the straightener just like touched the side of my head and that's really really hot so just be careful all right so I like to tease starting with the section below the top section so for hairspray, I like to use the Aussie Volumizing Hairspray, and then I'm just using a teasing brush from Conair. So much hair in it. Same kind of rule I apply um, with teasing my hair as I do with applying my extensions. So when I'm grabbing a section of hair to tease, again, I'm not starting right at the hairline so you can't see the tease underneath. And I'm going to smooth out the hair, and I'm going to lift it, kind of going up at an angle. And then I am actually going to start from the middle section of my hair. So I'm not starting down here. I'm going to start up here. And I'm just going to start pulling my hair back toward the root. I'm not going crazy, but you got to remember that your hair is also going to fall throughout the day. So I tease a little bit more than maybe what I think is necessary. I give underneath a little spritz and I let that just hang out for a minute. So I'm going to move to the section right behind it, doing the exact same thing, smoothing it out, starting from the middle and then just dragging. It's so funny, it just stands up <laughs> on its own. So I'm gonna do that all around my head, all around this section. There should be one more section back here. You don't have to make the tees perfect, especially on like these kinds of layers. That's not gonna be shown anyways. I at least try to get all around the hair. So there we are. So at that point, I'm not gonna like push it down. I'm gonna just let gravity kind of do its thing. So I'm going to take, now we are working with these three track extensions. So I'm literally just, actually, let me start on this side because it got sprayed first. And I'm literally just going to take it and clip it into my hair, just like I've been doing. Again, I'm not pushing. 
the tees down. Obviously, that's a little uh, obnoxious. That won't stay like that, but for now, I wanna keep that volume in there. We are moving on to the final sections of your hair, and in my opinion, the most important sections of your hair. So I have this just a little ball of hair right here, and the first thing that I wanna do is section it one more time. So we want the top of our hair, and then we want a section underneath. So I like just putting my hair down first, taking my fingers, and just kind of gathering like the very top layer of my hair. I want it thick enough up here that when it lays flat, it's gonna hide anything underneath. I'm going to straighten this out and I actually have a little piece of extension in there, but that's okay. I feel like as I work up, I tend to have like less and less real hair to work with. Like this is the only hair that's on this side from this section. There's really no hair like back here I can grab. It's all clipped. So I'm just gonna come on this side. So if I lift up this hair right here, oh goodness gracious. This is the hair that I'm working with. So I, if I lift it up, there's a clip right there. So really I'm only straightening this little part right here. So it's, it's really tiny. And you can see that I have a little bit of tease kind of like left over because again, I don't wash my hair every single day. So once that builds up or kind of gets out of control or I feel like I need to brush it out and redo it, then I'll do that. Um, but I, because that it already has some hairspray right here, I'm not gonna add any more as I rip out one of my tracks. Make sure that's a little more secure in place. And then I'm just gonna get, give it a super light teasing because it really doesn't even need a whole lot right there. Then we are going to take our last two tracks. Again, we're placing them not right at the hairline, but just around the hair. And I find that with these two tracks, you just gotta find a good spot where they don't show. I find that putting these, some people will tell you to stop your extensions at your ears. I find that putting your extensions a little higher up helps hide, especially if you have like really short hair, it hides the layers. Um, but I do understand the advice too, because that can prevent people from seeing your tracks. But I feel like if you just um, be wary of your placement and then when you're actually styling your hair, just make sure you check the back of your head um, before you leave the house and make sure no tracks are showing. But because I left enough hair up here, this is enough hair to cover up my track. So I'm just gonna let it fall. Once again, we are gonna go around and straighten it and luckily this is actually the last section of hair that needs to be straightened and so far i think i've been i don't know how long this has taken i think i've been probably straightening my hair for like 45 minutes and this thing still hasn't turned off on me which is usual i don't think i've ever had a heat tool turn off in 45 minutes usually like I think two hours it would usually turn off. For the top as well, try to do smaller sections so that way I just make sure that every strand gets straightened and I don't have any weird like wavy pieces like right here. You see this? What the heck are you doing? And then once this hair is straightened, again, this already has a little bit of existing volume, so I don't have to go crazy, but I do part my hair from the right to the left. I know it's a mirror for you guys, um, but I start by grabbing a little bit of hair kind of toward the middle of the back of my head, and I'm going to tease it the exact same way I did the other section. So I'm lifting it straight up, and I'm starting from the middle and just dragging that hair down, and I'm just doing it super lightly, I'm just kind of letting it fall, spray, and then I'm gonna take my comb, my teasing brush, and while my hand is still underneath there, I'm just kind of smoothing out the top, and then I'm just gonna remove my hair, and we're gonna look psychotic for a few minutes. But I'm going to do the exact same thing, so then I'm going to take this side of my hair, so I pretty much wanna make like the top of my hair even. So I'm taking this section of hair, Do the same thing. I'm 
As we get toward the front of my hair, I can do it a little bit, but I just gotta be careful of my hairline so my tees, it doesn't show, you know, or look naughty or finish the, the final result of my hair. Um, you always have the option, you could, you could flip, you could flip your hair over and let it dry like that too, but um, honestly, it's not 100% necessary. So I'm just going to finish by taking this little, oh, I see a little track here and I wanna move it. Finish by taking this side section. Tease it a little bit. Spitz it. And smooth it. So I'm gonna basically just shape my hair um, at this point. That's all there is left to do. So I move my hair to the back and then I'm going to very lightly take my brush. And this is where the styling and the shaping comes in. So I'm not brushing away the tees that we added underneath, but I am just shaping the hair, making sure it's going the direction that I want it to go, smoothing out any spots that need to be a little more smooth. Make sure you look from side to side because that is not cute. Smooth out the back a little bit, trust me. <laughs> Trust me. Once I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, look at that. Did I turn it off? I don't think I ever turned this off. I didn't turn it off, right? Because it's off. Okay, so it's off. <laughs> if you feel like you need a little more tease anywhere else, feel free to go back in a tiny bit. Just smooth it out again. What I like about this hairspray too is it, it kind of allows you to have that flexibility to play with it. It's not like, you know, rock solid by the time you spray it. So you do have a little bit of wiggle room and play room. So once I am pretty much happy with it, I might you know, finagle it a little bit more. And that is it, you guys. So that is how I do my hair every day. So you can see that because I tied my hair back, I have like one little, like this is the piece that we left in front of my um, ear, not tied back, but the rest of it is like all extension. So it doesn't look like weird. I might've missed a little piece somewhere is it here i don't know i see a little piece like this this got forgot to got tied back but if i didn't tie it back imagine like a big clump this size you know it'd be much more much much more noticeable than this if anything that kind of just looks like my bang so i hope you guys enjoyed my kind of updated um how i wear my extensions routine this is the fastest i can do my hair and i can even if i know even if i'm gonna be busy the next day and like i gotta go 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 i can straighten my extensions the night before so all i have to do is wake up in the morning kind of like touch up my hair and go and using this hair straightener is gonna make that super easy because i'm telling you it was so smooth it was so fast but i liked that you have the option of different styles with it as well because it could potentially make for a really easy curling hair routine as well um but the, again this has kind of been my go-to i know it always looks good i have a routine but thank you so much for duval they did send me this to review but they also did leave me a discount code for you guys to use down below it's just there to help you get money i don't get anything out of that you guys using that code i was able to get this um to review for you guys so i'm super happy with it you guys are gonna be seeing this actually like i'm gonna pretty much be using this every day this is amazing i'm so excited and thank you again so much Deval, for collaborating with me you guys were awesome the first time you guys were awesome the second time i really hope we can do it again in the future thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed please go ahead and leave a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss any new videos hit that subscribe button down below and i'll see you in my next one bye guys